Alright, stream's up. Yeah, I just grabbed the link. Here it is. Hey, you will be taking over the stream, everyone, uh, on YouTube. Hey, computer, how are you doing? This is the fifth round. Whoops. Actually, technically, this would be the sixth. Uh, you guys can take over on YouTube now. I'm going to be here just to talk. If you want to stay here, just to talk. That's fine as well. I think Boy will There is a king in the VC. Hi. Felix. Ooh, Toasty and Ella. Ella's not here. No? Okay. Toasty is not here either, so that's good. They're not. Unless they're. They better not be cheating. I'm joking. I don't really think you could cheat in this. Uh, it's I mean, you can, but significant. Mm hmm. It's pretty open. Oh, my arms. God. Okay, so, uh, I almost said Sentinels, but King has their team set up on the Sentinels team. I'm going to edit the description in the meantime. This is the sixth round. And it is under... Way, P not PK versus RG, King versus Helix. Now let's remove half of that. And the winners face Phantom in the finals, right? Yeah, the winners will face Phantom in the finals, while the losers will have to contend themselves with a uh, fight against RG for the third place. Alright. Both RG and Phantom are good teams, so both rounds will be fun to watch. This one will also be fun to watch. King struggled a bit to fire, yes. Uh, Helix obliterated zone. But, uh, yeah. Helix winning the first, Phantom taking the second, King grasping third, RG dominating the fourth. I didn't watch the Phantom match last time, so they Phantom. Taking another on the. Okay, we got confirmation. King is now ready. And Helix is having a uh, shit like issues. Uh, shall wait for his message. Helix is also ready. We're starting. All right. Uh, looks like King will have a 
Oh, uh, both teams got out. Oh, he might surprisingly. Usually defenders get out of the, their position first, but Helix took the, the capture now. Both teams contesting right here. I had an FPS drop. Oh, King is obliterating in the, the flank area. Oh, wow. King obliterated Helix there. And, uh, Ooh, oh, no, Helix, Helix held on. Helix, gun blast. Are you also having ping drops? I think I am. I'm like hitting the 200s right now. Oh, looks like one of kings dropped his sword. That was not good. Yeah, that's the bad part sometimes. Dropping the sword can be a good strategy if you want to jump higher than the enemy. You can drop the sword, jump on the sword, and catch it again. But makes it quite hard. Also, this is a this is a six v six. It's a it's a cramped area for turn, and King just took it. King took it, but not without losses. This is now surrounding the King members. Looks like King is harassing them. Theodore Hilarium harassing them. Uh, Helix has generally lower ping. Uh, they are expected to be doing well since these swords have uh, some degree of uh, anti anti LF. All right, I'll be putting up another poll in the stream to see who you guys will think will win. But this time, I will end it a lot quicker. <laughs> I keep forgetting to end it. King and. Like both Gunblas and Theodore are extremely capable fighters. Uh, Tasty, your ping is at 2000 right now. I I have several. Big uh, cringe. Yeah, I know. I got it stuck for a couple seconds. I just moved it. He has a history of. Uh, Taking term uh, and winning at last moment, as in, like I asked, they, were, they went, they started with a uh, disadvantage of 100 points and just recapped it even afterwards. Mm -hmm. So it's like some kind of warm up, as per se. Pretty nice for King because just around the summertime, right now, as their name would su suggest, their sword fighters are the summer soldiers and they just added this this year, I believe, if I'm correct and I'm actually updated. And uh, they got it in perfect time for the sword tourney. Mm -hmm. Camera Kenny this once again holding. Match, uh, whoever wins here doesn't necessarily mean they're better. That this sword is also a lot of luck. And I'm going to be offending sword fighters if I say that. But <laughs> if you disagree, you fucking, you fucking deserve to die. I oh, disagree. Oh, wow, uh, Pixel getting a nice clear there. Unlucky. Oh. Should not be downloading five games at the same time. I'm, I'm, I regret my life choices. King took it back. No, it didn't. Never mind. That after King was on that kill. You're hitting the 500s in ping. Oh my gosh, Omega. Big spikes, big spikes. Also, I did some downloading a game I would have played after this. Seems you have a little tower in the spectator. Oh, Penguin destroyed everything. Uh, uh, Sam is also, seems like a decent sort of fighter as well, though he's bottom fragging. I find it a little odd. King is holding hand, or... Er, Helix is spawn, but haven't gone for term, but now they have, so just completely ignore what I said. My brain doesn't work. Does that, are they holding the spawn? Yeah, there was uh, Fear and Kenny, but now they let go. Phantom lost a few uh, terms to RG because Phantom was holding RG spawn and got cleared because of that. The holding spawn might Ooh, Semcute right there, almost holding the term. Gunblast is really good at swords, it seems. 
I'll end the poll at five minutes just so it's a little longer for you guys to vote. Remind the red uh, helix green uh <laughs> green uh him is a king. So if you're a technical hostiles is healing send all the green. So far, Helix is whole day steady 100 points above King, and now they'll just see if their magic can get working again like they had against IS. Helix playing smart here. King has some degree of rivalry for G, so. Even if they lose this one, at, at the least they they get to clear that rival in sword. Pixel taking the effective corner there, but was not able to get a kill. It seems King has finally changed their strategy to full on push term and finally realizing how much they've been taking a little bit of a loss right here. And they effectively cleared it again. I have a question, where the hell is it? Who? Helix. I have no idea. Uh, they just got wiped. First to 900. I have no idea how the things work. It's been a long time since I played this map. I mean, you have to ask Omega, but I don't see why not. Let's see here. Quick update on the leaderboard. X Fear X top frag, highest KD, and we have Gunblaz, I believe. Highest top frag and KD for both teams. Yeah, Gun Blaz is. It looks like Helix is. Uh, I'm forgetting the word. I guess a really strong suit right here. Been holding the team and carrying it so far. King has a push on term and they're holding it. Halted Phantom at 308, but seems. Phantom took that back. I mean. Oh my god! I've been I've been swimming for too long. My brain has been fried outside. It's Helix. Helix did a nice flank there, clear two kings and then went for the third that that got them the thing. Oh but now King has a six v three on third. Wow, who will win fifty fifty. Ooh, twelve stud hit right there. But King's losing more members than he Oh, never mind. That's that's a Helix a King term now. Helix has reached the one third of the way there. So far on the polls, we look like we have a 50-50, just ended it, so let's see which team will actually come out on top here, rather than the 50-50. Helix holding it again. They've been doing some nice caps and pushes right here, holding off the king advancing forces. Mm -hmm. It's. I think the delay is about like five or seven seconds. I never counted. Actually, I never checked. Well, 
helix, a single helix cleared, uh, cleared the kingdom. Close match. I think that uh, if you like, uh, were to sub out someone for a, with a lower ping, they'd probably prefer better. Uh, just because. Well, like, it's taking a few seconds still. Not many, but enough to maybe take the win. King is gonna have to start clutching up here now in the later 10 11 minutes of the match. Holding yeah, fat or how. Yeah. Ooh, Fear went down a little bit on his team, but still holding a good top third position. Oh my god, this cut on my hand really hurts. Out of context, but anyway. What the hell? <laughs> oh. go to the hill about that. Helix with the clear. No, King is held with the. To be honest, it might King might have a stronger team uh, for the server. I think he like would have had better chances in a EST server, for example. But uh, for this type of server, King might have a stronger team. Just because of mm. the big hold right here, full stack by King's team. Oh my God! Do you know where? Oh, I'm turning. One is. I can't find it. What? Operations one, it's not here. Control. Massive second lead, and uh, now oh, King help. You look like to know. Now. King is warming up. You look like warmed up, I guess. See, King may have had a little more points here, but they seem to be catching up. If they were able to move their members around a little bit better instead of holding the spawn of Helix right there, they would have maybe had a slighter margin for a loss or a win. I can't, my English does not work as usual, but x is doing some good kills right there and holding term again. Gun Blast still on the top frag. Kai's KD. And X or X now back on the top frag high SKD. I think. Alright, Helix has been halted at 397 points for quite a while so far. And it looks like King might just be able to finally grasp the lead again. Mm hmm. Well, like their match with IS. Yeah. Yes. Awesome. Ooh, halted at 391. Helix grabbing back their lead. <coughs> oh, we're halfway there. I'm joking. Don't kill me. Alright, good king hold right there. Both teams at 400, Helix in the lead by, I can't count, 15 points. x x holding the Helix pushback. And Pixel was able to block off Fear, and now Helix is moving back up to take the terminal. Okay, one king down, two king down. Ooh, 1v1, and Helix took it back again. And King had a slight lead for a couple seconds. Now Helix grabbed that back and they're g slowly gaining their points up. Let's see how far they can get this time. Two kings wiped. We have about one king against four. One on four. Let's see who will win this. One Helix down. Alright, we have three king. They just reinforced. So now it's a three on three. Alright. And one king down, but the king push did not hold that, actually. That was too many deaths for me to see. So many bodies flying everywhere. But Helix was able to hold it again. 
And King now has terminal. Halting Helix at 462. And King now at 430. Alright, Helix push has held term again. King is going to have to reinforce. They have a full stack over here of team. Two King just wiped. MQT and Theodore. Camera Kenny holding. And a King push of four is now taking on the four on the terminal. One King down. Now a four on three. Three on three. three on, two on two. Two on one. Two on two. Two on one. Two on two. Two on two. Okay. They're effectively reinforcing right here with perfect timing. Will SemQT hold? SemQT did not hold. Now Helix has another couple seconds to hold off a King push and score themselves some extra points. King losing their mo losing their groove right here. Now having to... I think the lead's about to hit a 100 lead. Ooh, I just read chat. King is... King is Sentinels or Blue, and Helix is Red or Hostiles, whatever you want to call them. Alright, we have Theodore holding off the Helix. He got two right there. And King has wiped off the term, holding four of their members there. And halting Helix at a 550 points. The lead is now slowed down to a margin of 100, effectively closing that off with that push right there, but King will have to hold off another 3-4 to four pushes if they want to win term. And now it's a unfortunate turn of events. A full Helix push of 5 was able to hold off the 3 or 2 King on terminal, and King seems to have a problem with their reinforcements here. And that really costs them right here, unless their teammates are able to clutch up on a single 1v5. Well, the teams are 6. The same thing. They always lose that one person. And it's a 1 on 4. See again right here, unfortunately the king team keeps getting wiped. And they're not able to hold off until their reinforcements get back here. See with swords, reinforcements are really important to have here without your reinforcements. You're a single man against an army of, like, what, a whole team. And if you can't effectively clutch that up, then you're gone and your team will start going down. Helix now 300 points away from the win. Indeed. I mean, sure, swords can be a luck thing sometimes, honestly, but these things do take the skill and the proper no the knowledges of all the angles and everything. There are a lot of tips and tricks down here, but now it's down to who is actually knows them and how they can execute them. See, right here, Helix had a good reinforcement. A reinforcement of 5 on 1, that's really good from Helix, and they're effectively playing out their team. It seems they're only playing for term here, not holding off the king spawns, because they've never had to so far. I might be wrong now, because I think they're actually doing holding their spawn now. They've been holding the term off for a long time. Never mind, I'm wrong again. Helix is just going straight for the terminal, and that's been getting the game for them so far. They're at 650 points now, 655. See, Cam or Kenny here has to wait for his team to get a little bit of reinforcements here. Two on two, two on one, and unfortunate, did not hold that. Helix seems to be having a great sword fighting team right here. Holding off the king reinforcements. Officially back now, and uh, I came back exactly as Helix hit 666. Oh, Omega. That the helix is the devil itself. We shall crucify them. <laughs> Ooh, hitting about. I can't count. 700. King has not been able to get that hold back on terminal. 
And Helix has just been getting their points up, up and up and up. Holding it off really nice so far. Alright, King actually now has term. Holding Phantom at a 714, but that leads them. Oh, oh yeah. Sorry, I'm too used to King and Phantom. I watch it all the time. I'm sorry. But uh, Helix, Helix and King. Helix and King, Helix and King, Helix and King. King holding term, yes, no. No. And... Oh. Two on one. Now a two on one again. But Alexis Arkenning leaving his teammate right there to hold term. Not effective, but never mind. Cam was able to hold it, so that was a good play. But Alexis Arkenny was not able to hold off the three reinforcing Helix, so really, really have to bring a buddy with you on swords. Especially that the teams are six on six, there's effective duos here. But... King has held the terminal again. See, looking here, King really has to hold off the next couple of pushes if they want to slow down the margin. Because now it is a, what, a uh, 200 point lead? Yeah, 170. I'm bad at math, but who cares? Murphy held the term for his team there. All right. The margin's ringing down again, and it looks like King may hit the 600 mark. Now it is a four, five on five, five on four, three on f two, three on no, no, too many for me to see. Two on one. And Helix now has terminal again. Let's go. Looks like we have a little bit of a sub out right here with a Kai Herelium for SemQT. Alright. Alexis or Kenny seems to be holding off the spawn again. We saw this last in IS's game. Alexis or Kenny has really been good at holding off spawns and bringing the numbers down. But when you do this single handedly, it may be hard, but you really need that extra player up here on terminal right now. So now it's just the game of King having to notice that and bring their members back up here. The lead is about to hit another 200 margin if King is not able to hold off this push in the next 20 seconds. Okay, now it's a 4 on 5 on 2. Can't tell. And King's team was effectively able to hold the whole time. They have a full push. I can't read the help the who is there right there. I believe that's a helix. But they've been holding off pretty well. The margin has not reached 200. Now King is ringing it back down, hopefully to hit a 150 mark if they want a chance. 100, even lower, to get back the lead. If they let exactly what happened a couple minutes ago happen again on this next couple of helix pushes, where they lose it and helix is able to keep term for long enough, they will unfortunately lose this match and the win will go to helix, but... They have been doing really good here. Let's see who will actually hold on. And it seems I spoke correctly. Never mind, maybe I didn't. See, King had a good hold off right here. Fear was able to hold off the little time right there, backing up away from the Helix. Unfortunately, did die, but waited long enough for his team's reinforcements to get back onto to the terminal. And that's what you need here for this kind of map. King has finally noticed that they should be... They are. Especially with the timing, the lag, everything comes to account here, unlike the guns. Because you have... One kick, th quick thing for anybody who hasn't sword fighted. I recommend doing shift lock. I think everybody's doing that here, but just for you guys who want to know, or don't know, or don't know but don't want to know, who cares? You know, no. Now, no. I can't speak. Alright. Helix holding the terminal again. 
It looks like they're about to hit a 700 mark. The lead has been brought down, but if King is not able to take this push, and the thing, same thing holds off again, then it looks like this win will go straight to Helix. Oh, Helix is now within 100 seconds. And now we have King. Omega popping in and out. But we have King holding again. They really have to hold off for the next two minutes of Helix pushes if they want a chance at winning this back. The lead has now been brought down to a hundred mark. Now King really has to hold off these next couple of minutes. Or else, like I said, the win will go to Helix. Another close fight. But as we remember in the IS versus King match, they were able to win this back, but a reinforcement of five on three effectively wiped out the King team. Twelve studs there, a little bit trippy, but that's an unfortunate part that happens in swords. King has to coordinate a has to coordinate a full push here if they want an opportunity of winning this back. They're really slimming down the lead right here. Ah, too many people to view. Okay, it's a two on one, and the two on one holds. They re okay. King has to hold off here now, with a about sixty seconds, a minute for Helix to win it. And if they're not able to take out this push, the win goes to Helix. See, Alexis or Kenny did not wait for reinforcements there. Might cost them his team's win. And I was wrong. Helix, I mean, no, nope. King was able to clutch it. And now they have to hold off for 50 seconds. If they can't do that, then the win will go to Helix. So it's really, really a nerve wracking right here for King's team. But Helix seems to have this in the bag. There, another effective push. Okay, King has to coordinate the pushes here. They keep going in du duos, but if they keep pushing like that and not able to win off a 2 on 5, then the win is going to Helix. And. Ah. A full King push has finally came up. Full almost. 5 on 2. And see, right there, that's what they need to win here. But it's too late, it seems, that King has finally noticed that. And now with a, what, 30 seconds or so for Helix, I think they're going to win this. See, another effective push. It's a two-on-two. Two. They really need to reinforce their team up here to hold term. They're going to have to start running their asses in this little Roblox game. Somber Kino holding off a push right there. Now might win this for his team. But if I can't read who's there, I believe Theodore was there. If Theodore is able to push him off, they will win the game. But see, Somber Kino did an effective hold right here, and the win is going to Helix, people. What, with 10 seconds on the clock? Helix is about to grab the lead. 5 seconds, and Helix is in the bag. Doesn't look like the King Push will be able to hold it. GG's. I'm in the Phantom in the finals, uh, probably tomorrow, not today. While King will have to face hard for third place. Now here, it'll be a nice turn of a, a little turn of events if Helix wins the next cup or the next round. Uh, can't think. But if Phantom wins it, they would have won both cups for this year, as for just doing them no, yearly. If they win next round. Oh yeah, my bad. Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so <laughs> I can't think. My br I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. Shh. I'm not biased. I'm not biased. I mean, honestly, it's nice to see that all the divisions I've been in, which is what, Helix, Phantom, King... They've all made it to the top three, so they've all been doing really good. Unfortunate, you can't be in every single division here, but it is what it is. A little bit of jousting here. It looks like they're just having a couple kills off. But, uh... Yeah. My brain has been fried, as usual. I can't think. You guys all know that. I think the streams are really taking a toll on my brain. I'm joking. But... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
Okay, I'm trying to wake up. Okay, we have the win here. Helix by 900 to what? I can't read. Omega, your shell blocked it. How dare you? I'm joking. This will be a really close game. I want to see how King and RG will be doing their sword fighting. With RG taking a complete flawless against PK, and King only being able to hold on by a little bit against that IAS match, and right here against Helix. We'll see who wins the next one on the third place match after the finals or before the finals. No idea when that's going to happen. Alright, thank you all for tuning in. I think we're done. Um, you can all leave stream. The uh, replays will be posted up in community announcements again. See you all in the next match and... Uh,